Hello everybody and welcome back! My name is Ursa Ryan and this is a game for me. I'm just gonna say that right now from the bat. This is just Ryan having fun. Firstly, come to Discord. You can take the exact save file, put it on your computer and play on this exact map. It's great. If you're old school, these are the deets. It's quite a particular setup, this one. It's an archipelago map and what I did is I've got a huge map, so it's a 10 player map, but I upped the city states to 22 and we did a little bit of choosing with the city-states. The only mode I've got on this game is Secret Societies. We're going to go Owls. I've made that clear in my community poll already. Because I completed the Hall of Fame very recently, which means I've now done every single Civ, which means it doesn't matter if I replicate Civ, so I'm going to do a game for me. Because I love Portugal. Because they're great. They're all going to get plus nine trade routes across the game if I meet everybody. The trade routes do 50% more, they're all great. If I go Owls of Minerva, I'm going to make city-state friends everywhere because every time I send a trade route, it'll be great. You get navigation schools and Victorias and Nows and... Oh, it's going to be fantastic. And that's not even a... You know, the, the, the one thing that I will admit to you now is I absolutely have tweaked which city-states are in this game. I have all eight scientific city-states, I have all eight mercantile city-states, and I've got, I think, four extras, including, I think, Kamasi, I've got the Faith city-state that gives you faith on trade routes, I think I've got Auckland, and I think I've got Antaravaravaravaro, which I think is how you pronounce that one, which gives you the culture for all the great people. So, yeah, this, this is going to be an absolute laugh. I don't know what we're going to do, but I think on this game, I'm tempted to go for a peaceful playthrough and just see how it goes. I've done a lot of war recently. I'm tempted to kind of just play the map as it is, and sometimes if you force yourself to be peaceful, it could be good fun. Look at that glorious tile. I need to get off it. I need to get off it right away. Cross it. Cross the river. It's clearly worth it. Let's see what this land has for me. So already Owls of Minerva have been discovered because Mogadishu is here. That's not a bad start. To all of you that don't know, you can't get your, your traders plundered on water with Mogadishu because it's, it's your friend. Mogadishu provides your traders with psychic elasticity, which is a technical term for unkillability. Not bad at the start. I kind of almost hope this mountain wasn't there, which is, I mean, it's a little bit annoying. Um, but we've got a river with one tile connected to it, and we've got a reef, which isn't connected to the, to the mountain. And we've got actually a few places for canals, so, you know, there is that. I mean, canals? Oh, actually, actually, if I stuck a canal there and I stuck an aqueduct there, which I think it can wrap around onto the mountain, so I think that's chill. And then we'll go for a canal here. Oh my goodness, that's an industrial zone of plus seven, which is totally pointless for what I need it for, but I'm going to do it anyway. There's the harbour. Um... Now I'm thinking, do I put the commercial hub here? Because Owls of Minerva, don't forget, Owls of Minerva give you, uh, it won't be able to see it now, but we get the Gilded Vault, which gives you two trade routes per city, as long as you've got a harbour and a commercial hub in. Other options would include the Mausoleum. The Mausoleum's a good option. I could do the Mausoleum. Um, actually, oh, I've given myself the option to do a Venetian Arsenal here, so I'm going to pop that down before I forget it. Um got the wreath here which is annoying I've only got the one wonder spot that so you know what yeah I'm gonna have to go for we'll go for this we'll go for that I like having mausoleum in the capital if I can get away with it some fantastic yields which means that's got to be a commercial hub we'll stick a campus there honestly the plus two is nothing compared to the navigation school that's the bonus I'm going for really kind of fancy going for my own religion as well kind of fancy that I mean there's no huge work ethic spots here so you know i think i might have to just plonk a, a regular one and maybe go feed the world or maybe even all oh, the international trade routes one that could be fun sending more gold out yeah that could be that could be cool i mean yeah the chances of me getting everything down in that order is um astronomically small but but you know it's worth it worth a try we're gonna go for the holy site rush babe let's get the builder in let's go for mining and then we'll back fed up with astrology oh magnus magnus Ah, right, actually, this is a good point. Are we going to go for uh, a Magna Star or are we going to go for a Pingala Star? Pingala means we can shoot down to Grants. Magnus means that we can get Settlers out. Settlers sound cool, but it looks like we've got almost zero land here, so getting Magnus out quickly is going to be rubbish. I think, yeah, Pingala. Pingala to help the science get through so that we can settle a bit more. 
Oh man, maybe we should have gone for an Armani start. Maybe that was the play. Oh, then we would have had Mogadishu giving me visibility, having a look. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, it looks like there's actually quite a lot of land. This is an archipelago map, by the way. I forgot to mention that. That That, that is important. There's a lot of cool, like, canal areas. Cahokia, okay, that's a pretty rubbish one. I think that's the mounds, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty, pretty terrible. Oh, hello. What's, what's down here? What's down here, you say? It I see this. Roryama. Oh, nice. Oh, I love Roryama. Roryama is such a good wonder. I mean, there is a lake right next to it, which is a little unfortunate, but that's still good. Oh, awesome. What's in the goody hut? Void singers as well. Oh my goodness, why is it the games that I'm clearly not going to be using the Void Singers that is the only games where they actually pop up? Like every time it's exactly the same. Can I get a plus four campus from this? I'm just thinking the rationalism options. I probably could. If I went Government Plaza, oh no that's Diplomatic, I always do that. Government Plaza there. And then a water park? Uh, like that. That's the plus four. It's on. It's on. There is the option. Anyway, we'll get rid of that forest quickly. And let's get the builder going. We'll try and um, get the strategy. Sorry, a builder. It's a settler. That's clearly a settler. What am I doing? I'm actually going to just beeline just having a look round Mount Moriyama. I mean, that would be that would be pretty cool. Yeah, another tribal hut round there. Looks like the land on this side may be a touch flatter, which is a good sign. Let's go and get this tribal hut. Ooh. Reefs as well. Looks like we may have a quite a button. You know, we're in reef area. Reef 101. That's the wheel boosted. Six turns until this settler, which is perfect timing on the old astrology. Goodness me. God King, get in here. I view myself as a bit of a god. I won't lie. Man, maybe I should have gone for a scout. This is way more land on this bit of the map than I expected. Oh, hello. What was that? Ooh, state workforce. State workforce is district, right? I was going to do that anyway. That's useless. Uh, right, foreign trade immediately to get the trader. My aim in this game, by the way, my absolute aim is basically just to trade with city-states throughout the entirety of the game. Like, I have no other backup plan here. That is that is my plan 101. I think it's worth rushing. I was going to chop this to, to get the woods out of the way quickly, but, I mean, I don't think that's worth the chop. Uh, because the settler rushing it through, I, I still can't put the holy site down, so I'm just going to hold fire. Now, do I chop or do I get the quarry? The quarry is quite useful. The quarry would give me the masonry boost. Um, I think it's probably... I've got to do it for the boosts, I think. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, there's a mountain right in where the... Run, oh, the, 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 oh, my goodness. How do you say that? Rora... Rorariema. Ro, no. Rorima? Rorima? Oh, my goodness. Roriama. It's not Roriama. I know that. I've been told that all the time. You guys are always so understanding with my... With my pronunciation, I, I, I just, it's it's nothing, nothing but joy, you know, continually from you guys on that one. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. I decided to go and scout with my builder. What a mistake. Oh, and look, now they've appeared down here as well. This is just bad news bears all around. Oh, dear. Are you going to get it? Oh, he didn't go for me. Right, quick. Run away. <laughs> Run away. Anyway, the settler's out. Good. Lisbon. We'll get its religion. Uh, now, we'll go for the holy site district. Nine turns on that one. You know what? I think I, I might just I might just rush the chop. Which district am I going to put down first? Am I, am I going to be beelining a campus? Probably not. I think I'd quite like to beeline a harbour. Improve two sea resources. Yeah, let's get sailing. I think that's, that's a good idea. Oh man, it's quite a way. But I feel like moving my settler all the way down here. I mean, that would be... That'd be epic. Someone's got a profit point. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna rush this through. I'm just gonna go for 23 production that would give. That's atrociously small. Uh it's not worth it. No, it's not worth it. Well hold on. Oh dear. Indecision. Never who who would have thought? Ursa Ryan. Plagued by indecision when playing Civ. Two people are on it now. Two people are on it now. Okay, maybe the religion's not going to be good. Why am I bothered with a religion? I can hear you guys asking this now. Well, A, I love religions. This game is for me. I like playing with religion. What are you going to do? But I also think that with the Thief City State, the one that gives you faith for every trade route, I think having a religion has got to be a really fun way of playing through the game. I just feel like it's going to be a good thing. Do I just gamble on just settling over and just really enjoying these 
tiles here. I mean, faith and science is not the best combination, really, but you get some pretty amazing tiles if you if you work them. There's some holy site options around here that are pretty cool as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How far around do I go? You know what? I'm just going to hold fire there. They can always buy a new settler, but I think this is giving me the option to maybe canal over. That, there's a, yeah, that's just a plains. So in theory, if we grabbed this tile, which is very unlikely, I could canal over. Or maybe I could settle canal over to there. So there's, there's options. Okay. Sailing. Done. Holy sight. Done. Buying a shrine with gold. I'm using my, my city-state money to do that. So that gives me two profit points per turn. Somebody is up to 14 points. It's not the hugest. It means I can rush this still. Holy sight prayers. That is 35, so I can get half of that done with a chop. There we go. That should put me into the lead. We should be able to run from there. I, I hope. Someone's built Stonehenge. You know what? They wait. They wait just for me to have all my fun taken away from me in the maximum possible way. I swear the AI, it can't actually play Civ well at all. Like, at all. All it does. All it does is just screws you over. Yeah, look, look at that. Someone's now got three points, just as I get the two. Ugh, what pantheons are left? What pantheons are left? Okay, so there's nothing settlery, which is probably good, because often when you go for the settler ones, you just get totally distracted, and you forget that all of the other ones are really, really good. I do have a mine. Uh, that mine could give me religious idols, which would give me two faith. I could go god of craftsmen. I could go for for city patron goddess. I think we're gonna go divine spark though. I like the idea of trying to rush some rush some holy sites, but also rushing out the um, scientists as well. Although somebody's already going for a scientist. So really, really there's no rushing. Oh my god, the turds, they just switched units around. The AI is playing hard today. They are they are not hanging around. I love it. I love this. Anyway. Uh, Caravasseries, we've now got the option to put trader units out, which is good. We'll go for God King and I'll go for Maritime Industries. Oh no, I'll do that in a second. We'll go for Maritime Industries in a second. I do just have a bit of a barb problem down here that I need to sort first. But, trading. Do I have available routes? I do, I have got a couple of nine gold routes. So that is an option. And if I have and make sure that I get the Isles of Minerva out, they won't be able to get stolen from me. So we're going to go for early empire quickly. How much is a trader unit? 180. I should get that in four turns. I can send that, get a few turns of gold. In fact, as you know, quicker than that. Quicker than that, I can get this one. So it's just about whether or not I fancy waiting until... It's whether or not I fancy waiting until I've got the owls sorted, which I could do, to be fair. But, I'm, you know, I've got multiple options on traders here. Mogadishu's already got two. Yeah, you know what? Sod it. I'll send the trade route out. Oh, I should have done that this turn. I could have done it this turn. Damn. Um, okay, someone... Oh! Oh, I'm running. I'm, I'm being rushed here. I'm being rushed. There's the trader. Nine gold. Done. Currency boosted. Portugal. Portugal starts today. So Catholicism has got Feed the World and someone's got Choral Music. So, yeah, really we're going to have no fun. No, no fun. No fun for old Ryan. Ugh. Holy Site Project doesn't doesn't don't even care about that anymore. I'm grumpy. I'm grumpy. Let's build a monument. There's the religion. Oh, why did they? Why does they always take feed the world? Oh, but what do I eat? If everyone else is feed the world, right? Okay, fine. International trade routes provide plus two gold to cities with holy sites and an additional plus two gold for every building in the holy site district. Uh, I'm going to be trading with religious city states. That's the thing. So I don't know whether that's the best option for me, but we are going to get a huge amount of faith, so maybe Jesuit education is going to be the good option here. I'm, I'm going to take a risk. I think Jesuit education is going to be fantastic this game. Absolutely fantastic. Religious unity plus one envoy at each city-state when it first adopts the religion. Could get a couple of quick envoys out, but I should, envoys won't be a problem for me, I don't think. Religious colonialization. Now that's something that I always like to do because it just helps you to spread your religion as you're settling on different continents. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing is Portugal. I realise I'm not going to get Dark Age, actually. I should have waited on the old religion, knowing that I wasn't going to get what I needed from that one. That was a bit of a, a, bit of a silly move, but never mind. There's that. Irrigation boosted. And I think I should be able to boost craftsmanship in a second. I'm just about to uh, boost early empire as well. Didn't even need anything better than a normal era. Don't care. 
two era score every time I convert a city to my religion. That's always a nice one. You can get that at the beginning of the game. That's brilliant. Writing in two turns. Good. Lisbon will be able to pick up this uh, campus quickly. And I can use Jesuit education to stick um, things in it, which, which is great, actually. Really good. Let's get the granary. Uh, gallery? Granary? The galley going. The granary. <laughs> the granary is in a boat. I've put my grain in a boat and it's off. Like I'll, I'll never see it again. Maritime Industries. That's what I wanted. Right. Cool. Governor titles. Uh, Owls of Minerva. I think we're going to go and appoint these guys now. That gives me the perfect option. Perfect option of having another economic policy. And now we can start getting more envoys for city-states as well. Let's go for settlers. Now we're going to buy the settlers. We'll get two gold per trade route. That's good. Actually, we need to pick up Mogadishu quickly. Because my my trader, my trader is on the way into this barbarian galley. No! Just a load of desert over here, which sounds like it might be a bad thing. Oh, they just ate it. They ate my trader. Oh, that's so annoying. And there's masonry boosted. Okay, so I was going to get that boost anyway. That's... Oh, damn it. Damn it. Never mind. Nice plus food campus to start with. That's pretty decent. There it is. Mogadishu. Kablamo. Perfect. Now my traders are immune to getting plundered. God's sake. <laughs> Never mind. 1052 and every single religion's been taken. God. The AI really went for that. Look, there's another there's another mercantile city set over the water that I can't I can't quite see it. But that is the landmass. There might be a little spit of land coming from below Cahokia, but really that's that's about it. So yeah, we're gonna have lots of harbours and lots of desert-based cities. There's an amazing Petra city possibility over here. Actually, it's whether or not I, I try and put two cities down. Hang on, where is it? Yeah, two cities down on this bit. Or whether I just go for the one. I don't know. We'll work that one out in a second. I've got lots of decent settling spaces down here as well. Someone met me. That was a scientific one. Bologna. Nice. Nice. Oh, and it's the first person to have met them as well. Train a galley? I just built a galley. Honestly. What, 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 what do you need from me? Oh, I killed my galley. It was, it said it was a victory. Oh, bastards. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, anyway. My traders are immune to being plundered now, so I don't mind buying a new one. But, oh, that's so annoying. Actually, I can send it to Kokia and get a trader, uh, you know, um, sorry, a envoy with those guys. Actually, that helps me to get another suzerain. Campus. Done. How much is the library? 180 faith. Okay. Hold fire on that one for now. I just need a couple of galleys to go and just defend my shores a little bit. The Celestial navigation. Good. Okay, we've got the option of building a harbour district in my in Lisbon. If I can get the population of Lisbon a bit higher, that is something that I need to work on. Actually, getting rid of some of this rainforest, I can I can chop a pretty decent chunk of population out, which would be decent. I don't normally do this, but bee landing for education is probably a decent move on this map. Yeah, navigation schools. God, they give so much science. It's mad. And Barber Camp is dead. Sanguine Pact. That's on all four of them unlocked. That's very rare that that happens on a game like this. Classical Republic. Always go for that if you're unsure what to do because the extra immunity you get in each city and the extra housing really helps. First Envoy counts as two. That's a really important one for me, sending trade routes everywhere. And I'm going to pick up builders quickly on top of scientist points per turn. Let's get some scientist points per turn. We're actually starting, I'm going to get a couple now. So we might be able to nab one of the early game uh, great scientists if we're lucky. Like actually, ship building would be good. All land units embarking. I can send some settlers overseas, which would be quite a handy thing to do. Oh, that's a faith one. There we go. That is the faith city state. That is the one that gives faith for every trade route. That's going to be really, really important. But where are they? They're all the way over there and they've been met by somebody. So... That's where our galleys are going to go. Maybe. India. Right. Best thing about meeting India, I get a free trade route. But it's now a new perfect trading partner for me. I've got some diamonds. They are forever. Um, in fact, actually, what would you give me? They would give me that. So I'm going to get rid of eight. They're, they're two gold and just ask for 20 favor as well. Perfect. These are the deals. So actually, where am I going to send the trade route from? I think I'll send it from Beja because I can get Cahokia now on side. I don't think I've found the... No, I haven't found the trade route to Bologna just yet. So we'll get the trader out of this city and we'll get it going to Cahokia. Like so, 12 gold per turn. Bam, they are now on side. There's the era score. And now we're getting 
40 favor per turn. What I'm also going to do is just quickly just start to funnel all of Gandhi's favor from him as well, just building up a nice balance. It's the beginning of the game, the point where the computer doesn't know how to value diplomatic favor. It doesn't last long. As soon as you get anywhere near the World Congresses, it stops viewing things like this. Bandar Brunei? Okay, they are not the first uh, person, well, I'm not the first person to admit that, but trading posts in foreign cities provide plus one gold to units passing through. That's actually a ridiculously ineffective um, city-state for Portugal to find because my trade routes are so big, they tend not to pass through cities. Weird one that. I wish instead of um, going through the city centres, I wish it was as long as it went through the, the borders of a city with a trading post in. Like, I feel like that would be more in the spirit of what they were trying to achieve with that one, but I don't know. Gotta have faith. Build the libraries. 20 science per turn. How am I doing in terms of Gandhi? Oh, we're both on nine and we're both in last. Oh dear. <laughs> Never mind. What? Kublai. Oh, Kublai's on 39. 39 science. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, right. Well, in that case, uh, I'm just going to keep on buying traders. This is, this is the sort of game where I just get to trade to my heart's content. So now Bologna. I can get on side, which will explore some of the map for me. Nice little continent there. Okay, there's plenty of spaces to settle. As long as I can get my settlers out. That's three city-states already now that are on side. Come and Teddy, oh my goodness, Teddy's got 75 science. What was I saying about doing okay on science at the beginning of the game? I feel, I feel like he was listening and he went, mm, are you though? Oh, he values favor. Okay, right, hang on. I can sell this. I've got 128 I've picked up. He doesn't have enough gold. He doesn't have enough gold to do all of that. You go 38 gold per turn. Actually, I can ask, I can give him more and I can start taking all of his actual gold. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Like so, that's the max. That bankrupts him. Bam. What a trade deal. Now, the important thing about that trade deal is it means I can get settlers out. And I think I'm going to start settling around these bits of my land first. But yeah, that, I think that's a good idea. Well, actually, am I going to do that? Or am I going to get a harbour in first to get an extra trade route? Mm. I'm going to get a trade route anyway, I think. Banner Brunei. Yeah, Lisbon, I think, was the place to do this one from. Yeah, Lis Lisbon, Lisbon's going to get some good trade routes, like from square one of this game. This is, this is cool. Yeah, you know what? That's such a, it's such a useless government plaza. I'm not going to bother with it down there. Beige is going to do it down here and improve the campus spot. I feel like that's the best thing I can do. Tamir. Okay. Right, again, we're just meeting somebody every turn at the moment, which is fantastic because it means I can get my traders out, which is brilliant. And shipbuilding. Now we can start to settle. Actually, I might just try and settle other continents. Like There's, there's a little island up here, which is just gorgeous. Uh, Bandar Brunei. Yep, let's just quickly plonk that one down. Medieval fairs boosted on turn 75. Of course it is. Great stuff. Diplomatic favor. Georgia values it as well, actually. So I've got a little bit more I can sell to them. They don't value it as highly as good old Teddy, but I'd rather spread the load a little bit. I'm not trading all with one person. Government Plaza has been finished, which means I'm just going to get the audience, uh, so the ancestral hall to be able to settle a bit quicker and there is going to be Magnus popping up in Beja so I can start to get settlers from this city. Bandar Brunei, second trade route to them. The Bam! Oh, and I found Gorgo doing that. Oh my goodness, it's just like how many trade routes does the game want to give me? Chinguetti, if, oh, if I can get some traders to Chinguetti that would be, that would be the best. That would be the best, but I don't think it's going to happen quite yet. She's doing good. She's doing good. Open borders. I'm just trying to get the open borders in quickly before before they disapprove of me and I, you know, inevitably go to war with the entire world. Actually, Gorgo values favor as well. Cool. Okay. Um, well, we'll take, as I said, I'm just spreading my trade deals out a little bit so in case somebody goes to war with me. I'm not going to get bankrupted. Uh, currency is earned now. Education is being beelined on. Build a pasture. I've really not got a pasture. Don't even think I've got the option to get a pasture unless I settle somewhere really randomly. So no, terrible. Sounds a bar down there. Okay, that's actually a really good pickup. If I can pick up Zanzibar, two amenities, cinnamon and cloves. God, that will make 
such a huge difference. Yeah, look, there's a route to Zanzibar there. That's two envoys with them immediately. And Taralavalavalavalavio. Yes. Oh, okay, right. I haven't found any great people yet, but I think later in the game, that city state is really useful. Oh, speaking of, a -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop, and Zanzibar is mine, and we found Rome. Oh my goodness, and there's a bunch of swordsmen. Oh man, if we were going for a peaceful game, that would have been brilliant. Uh, not going for a peaceful game, I should say. Oh, that would have been hilarious. There's Rome anyway. That's good. We'll just do a little bit of trading with them quickly. Bit of open borders trading. Great. Oh, Teddy's my friend now, actually. That's quite exciting. Samarakand. I'm glad I'm not on a competed island. Auckland! There's Auckland. Auckland is a priority target for me. I need to be able to trade with Auckland as quick as I can. Um, so that I can get the extra production from coast tiles. Oh, brilliant. And the Congo. Goodness me. Well, we've, we've met. We've met everyone. All kinds of people this game. Why do I get the distinct feeling that Samarakan's days are numbered? I mean, at least they've only got galleys outside and that appears to be at least a fully fledged wall, but still. Just two turns away now from the Ancestral Hall. Um, that will give me provision in Beja, and then I can start to use my gold to get settlers. Don't worry, I will settle. Settling is definitely on my list of things to do. How am I going to get a golden age? I've got two turns. Two turns left and three era score. There's a chance that I might meet some like other AIs and stuff, so I'll, I'll kind of keep moving in that direction, but yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. Hmm. I, could levy, I mean, I could levy some units or something, but I feel like that's expensive. Like, that would be an expensive way of getting it. Hang on, we'll just go one more turn and just see if anything happens. You never know. There's masonry. No, nothing. nothing's happened, unfortunately. Uh, but we do... Oh, man, if we could get that, that would be, that'd be so cool. Hang on, right, let's just sell some more favor. Selling loads of favor per turn. Got six coming in, which is very tasty. But, you know, we can do better than this. We're also keeping an eye out for... Uh, the quests that we can do for the um, city-states as well, like quadrireams and swordsmen are pretty easy to get as long as I levy the right things and do the right stuff, so I mean that, that's all very possible. Bologna's got a pretty weak army, which means I could levy that for not very much money. That's an intriguing option. Oh, I could get myself a great person. That's an option. That's an option, okay. So this Admiral would give me the ability to make people, um, boats quicker. I've got a great writer option, which I could use and then sell the great works to other people for a bit of money. I mean, that's not a bad option, but getting a great person with that level of um, income. Yeah, that should, I mean, that should be good. Trader to this city provide me. I mean, merchants are not, they're not ideal, really. Oh, that's an option. That is an option. City state army levied. It's only going to give me the one. Levy stands down. Cause for war. I'm not going to do any of those really. Yeah, I think actually getting a great person is going to be the quickest way of me getting this. So hang on, if I just get rid of some horses quickly and we'll ship those to America because it gives me enough gold that now I can purchase in one of these guys. Now, unfortunately, a Seador is a little bit too expensive. An Admiral I can't pop. But a writer I could, and I could sell those. So I think I'm going to get the writer. It seems to me like a good thing. And there's the era score. I think that's worth it. I, I honestly think that's worth it. But we'll we'll see. We'll see if we'll see if everyone agrees with me. There we go. There's my golden age. Uh, there's a couple of other people in golden ages, but that's nothing really to do with me. But monumentality, which means I can get extra stuff to produce settlers. They're 30% cheaper. And cheaper is good because it means... I can buy them with gold. Actually, I can't. I can't buy them with gold. But if I had gold, you bet I'd buy them with it. Let's try this again. If I had gold, which I do, <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, dear. And this is what I was talking about as well. So the great Bonus. works of art. I'm just going to sell one of those great works. And if I can sell it for more than a thousand gold, it'll be worth it. At the moment, no one wants to buy it from me. We'll just we'll wait for a sec because I don't believe that to be true. New districts built by me. I love the sound of that. And I like the idea of building things with production. I mean, I don't know if we'll win them. Oh. Oh, we did. There we go. So I should have two points, right? I do have two points. Maybe I'll go diplomatic victory today. I don't know what I'll do. Honestly, 
it's it's all exciting there we go okay so it's like 600 gold I could get uh, I mean that's that's kind of worth it really I mean yeah there we go because I'm I've got I've got another one is the thing and nowhere else to put it so yeah Poland yay Oh, I like a good game of Poland and they're nice to have around. They're friendly, they're happy, and they definitely don't declare religious war every five seconds. I mean, they do. They do a bit, but you know, they're fun. They're fun nonetheless. Oh my word, an actual great scientist. Goodness me. Oh, we've got enlightenment or boost towards enlightenment for that. Divine right, machinery, metal casting. It's not a bad selection, really, all things considered. Oh, I like... I like playing a friendly game every now and then when you're not just at war with everybody. You get so many trade deals, like about seven and eight amenities in my cities. Oh, so much easier. Yes, I'm, I am I am scared of expansion. What if I actually did have a fear of expanding Rome, hey? How would you think that would make me feel, you taunting me like that? Honestly, no compassion by Rome there, no compassion. Oh my god, what is happening here? Um. That scout is, is disturbed something. It's like that moment in a film where it's like, we dug too deep and then all the aliens come out. It's like, ugh. Brazil, 150 science, bloody hell. All right, Ch fine. Hello, Brazil, N nice to meet you. <laughs> That's absolutely nonsense. Hunza, Nerva 36, we're meeting them all now, which is good. Finally up to seven pop in Lisbon. Let's get that lighthouse down. I know I've got 10 trade routes already, but I need more. More. Finally have enough faith to get this library in as well, which is... I think the technical term for that is about flipping time. And a new city here. Braga. What a beautiful place. Isn't it great? Isn't it, isn't it wonderful? Let's just get a harbour down quickly. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do. Another city. Okay, so we're slowly getting these cities down now. I'm just going to continue to build some harbours. As I said, I think gold and trade routes has got to be my priority. And we'll kind of go from there, really. Taruga. Nice. There's a lot of city-states, actually, that aren't on the coast, which is amazing, considering this is an archipelago map. But, you know, you got to respect them for... You know, they, they don't enjoy the sea. And they're going to do something different. And I, I like that, and I respect that. One more city down here. Moriyama, i got a boost for that one, which is good. It's all good era score that's going to help me hopefully push towards the first era i say the first era i do of course mean a golden era don't know what i'm talking about no one's really got a clue what i'm talking about i like to think most of the people that watch this channel are just sort of like really polite smile and wavers like yeah 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 yeah. what's he talking about no, no, no one's sure no one's sure okay cool great just just smile and wave circumnavigation Hee <laughs> hee, it always sounds so rude, doesn't it? <laughs> As a word. Uh, always makes me giggle. It's not that rude a word, really. It's 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 harmless. It's just my immature brain, but it just always does. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, The Broccoli, Midnight Oil, and Trufford Askby for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you everybody for all of your support generally. It is brilliant. See you on my next video.